What's going on, everybody? Now, I'm going to bring you the words of Dr. Umar Johnson because what happens is our media is only controlled by six corporations and they mold and pick your leaders for you. Now, M M Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King was teaching peace, let's march, let's integrate with whites, and that's who they said, ah, we like his message, we're going to put him. We're going to make it, we're going to teach Martin Luther King in your high schools, in your elementary schools. However, we're not going to teach you Harriet Tubman. We're not going to teach you uh, uh, Nat Turner or anybody else. Here's what we're going to teach you. So I'm going to bring you the words of Dr. Umar Johnson, because you're not going to see Dr. Umar Johnson on CNN. You're never going to see him on Fox because he's an intelligent black man that's telling you the correct message. They're feared it, especially Fox News. You're not going to see him on MSNBC. You're not going to see him on Yahoo News. Now, what he's going to tell you is that blacks can do it themselves. Why is the black church in the church? Why are they not hitting these streets? You let 700 some odd, 760 something people die in Chicago and you, you think you could pray it away in the church. He also, he's also going to tell you about blacks spend billions on liquor, billions on hair and makeup, billions on Air Jordans. So why are you praying? And he's, he's going to make the point that God only helps those who help themselves. He, you pray for only the stuff that's beyond your measures. And us doing for ourselves is very much in that scope. Take a look. So I'm saying this to say we have to stop relying on supreme divine intervention to solve our problems when we have the ability to solve those problems ourselves. Let me say it again. We have to stop relying on supreme divine intervention to solve our problems when we have the ability to solve them ourselves. Can I give you some examples? Let's take the school system. God, please fix the schools. Make the schools better for our children. God is not going to answer that. Because the science of prayer dictates, the science of prayer dictates God only intervenes and supplies you when you don't have the resources to supply yourself. So because black people have the resources to build your own schools for your own children, God is not going to fix the schools because you have the ability to fix them yourselves. You only pray. For that which is beyond your power to do. Harriet Tubman prayed, but she only prayed for things that were beyond her power to do. Queen Mother Harriet Tubman knew that it was within her ability to help rescue Africans. So she did not pray for Africans to be rescued. She did it herself. But what she did pray for was for God to give her protection while she was saving black folks because she could not protect herself while she was on the Underground Railroad. Now, this is why you don't see Dr. Umar on national television. It's because he's telling you the correct message. If he turns his message around and say, beg the mayor for a job, or beg the president to do for us, he'll probably get more airtime than anybody in this world. He'll probably be on CNN every day if he told the message to beg. But he's telling you to build your own schools, educate your own children. Why is black people still begging for them to teach your kids? Why are we still begging to be in their schools? Why are we still begging to work at their jobs? Why are we still spending all our money in their neighborhoods? Why are we still begging for jobs when we can shop black owned in our own neighborhood and create our own? Understand this. That's, that's why I don't like black folks begging. We begging to be win their Grammys. Begging to win their rewards and their award shows and be in their movies. Begging to be in their NBA or their NFL. Why don't we create our own? We're begging them for everything. However, we don't have the resource. We don't even have the 
the, the, the will to do for ourselves. We have the money. Every time I tell people to shop black owned in your own community, oh, we don't have no businesses. Do y'all realize if we only have three, shop there. Turn those three into six. Turn those six into 12 within a year or two. We would own everything, black people. Damn, is that that hard to follow? That is not a hard concept to follow. It's just that simple. But black people, and then black people talking about, oh, we don't want Trump to come in. Well, if your ass ain't willing to shop black on, give these kids jobs, what the fuck are you complaining for? Why don't you want Trump to send them in? You're not going to do nothing about it. Why is the church have said to say, you're not going to come outside and help? You're not going to, the pastor who makes a billion dollars a goddamn year ain't going to take that money, invest it in a black-owned gas station, give black people jobs in that area, create a, um, build your own Chinese food restaurant, buy a liquor store, buy whatever. The church ain't going to do that. The pastor going to take that money. He going to buy a million dollar house in a white folks neighborhood. He going to spend his money in white folk neighborhood while coming in your community taking your money out. You go to the Chinese food store, spend all your money there while they take your money out and take it back to their neighborhood. Empower their people and give their people jobs. Are you going to do that for, your, for, for yourself? You're not. So, listen to the words of Dr. Umar Johnson. A lot of people are wondering who our black leader is. In my opinion, this is our black leader. Don't wait for the media to say, hey, who is our black leader? Because you're waiting on somebody to be on TV every day. You're waiting on everybody's acceptance. That's what's going on. And they're going to try to smear Dr. Umar every chance they get, but they're not going to stop him. So I want you to like, comment on this video. Let me know what you think. Peace. I'm out.